The utterances by Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa to Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja continue to receive criticism. <laughs> the letters being from his hometown of Central Kenya. Former Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia has slammed the DP for what he says is being tribal and discriminatory. Since now we are brothers and sisters. Na ninge staka kusema, bimi ni kiyogozi wa kikuyu. Kama wa kikuyu wa mesema kitu wa bacho kime waudhi wa namlebe. On their behalf, we are sorry. Atunda niya sisi. Ya kuleta uhasama kati ya iyo makabila mawili. They are our brothers. Wairia who proposed to apologize on regard his behalf has however urged the DP to tone down his comments and strive to be the symbol of national unity as prescribed in the constitution. In the next two or three weeks, nitaenda kwa wao, ni waambie pole uko nyumbani kwao. Kama walikosewa kutoka upande huu, huo, hiyo siyo maoni na haija idhinishwa na wananchi wa kawaida wa hapa. Sisi na wambaluya ni kitu kimoja, hata luga ni moja, wanazema ingoko, sisi tuwazema agoku. Regard is already being a threatened to be impeached by Bumula legislator Jack Wamboka on arguments of sidelining other communities. A cross-section of lawyer leaders have also criticized the DP over his verbal attacks against Akaja, even as pundits have given their two cents on the expected conduct of the second in command. There is a deputy president who uh, some of his utterances could border on polarizing the country. Because if there is one thing the Hustler narrative tried to do, was to do away with the ethnic mobilization as the single most philosophy in political mobilization. It does not seem to differentiate a politician during campaigns and a politician who has gone through a successful campaign and got into an office. Joel Chacha, K24 TV, Nairobi.